Yo guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are back on SER for another video. And you may be thinking, Fetch, why are you doing another SER video? Because I thought you said you were going to be stopping on Tuesday to do a stream on Wednesday. Now, the truth is, I'm actually recording this video on Wednesday morning. It's actually quite early on in the morning. It's only about half seven in the morning. Yes, I've actually woken up before, you know, half seven in the morning. Um, because it is actually still quite hot. Obviously, all of the heat, obviously, you know, gets stuck to the bricks and stuff of the houses and it just heats up the inside. So unfortunately, the likelihood of a stream actually happening later on today is going to be very, very low. So I'm trying to get this video recorded just in case I can't. But um, yeah, likelihood I won't be able to stream once again, but hopefully by tomorrow I should be able to return to streaming. So today I have picked another journey to do. And we're going to go to the driver role because obviously we're going to be driving. We're not going to be doing guarding or dispatching or anything like that. And the route we are going to be doing is on the express operator. And we're actually going to be taking the class 221, sorry, uh, meant to choose that. And we're going to be driving the Newry Harbour to Lynn route. Now, it does say 27 minutes, but I don't think that this route actually takes 27 minutes. And obviously, it is seven stops. So we're going to spawn there. And we're going to go to North Shore Depot to terminate at Lynn by the Sea and then turn back. So. Let's spawn into North Shore Depot right now. There we go. That was the thing that said, please wait for a moment. I don't know what that was all about, but uh, here we are. We go in. It feels honestly so weird being back on this. Because, <laughs> you know, I've been, you know, I've been getting used to, you know, uh, a small screen on, uh, on, on my laptop. And uh, to now see everything on a, you know, on, on a effectively a 24 inch display now, it's, it's like when I first got my PC, you know. Good frame rate as well. That's something that I wasn't able to get on uh, on my old laptop. The, the the good laptop could have probably only... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you saw some streams on the channel uh, when I used it sometime the week before last week. Um, yeah, I couldn't scrape 60 on... You know, Euro Truck on. Well, I mean, I could scrape about 50, like 40, 50 FPS on Euro Truck on literally everything turned to the lowest. Um, anything above that, then it started being a little bit twitchy. I guess some Roblox games could, you know, go at 60, but most of the time it was probably hanging around like 40, 50 area. Um, and then there were some times where it just dropped down to like two. <laughs> I tried playing Minecraft as well on there. That just didn't work either. So, um, it hasn't been, uh, in terms of like me being, you know, my gaming and stuff like that, it hasn't really been the best times, but, uh, obviously my health and, uh, well-being is more important to me than gaming or you know things like that gonna be going on to platform zero by the way i don't normally go onto platform zero so this is going to be new i think for the channel as well although i mean it probably has happened on a on a stream but i can't remember it yeah we're actually going to be going to platform zero this i'll drop it down a bit more oh it's going to be a weird one to try and stop it isn't it Right, we're going to stop there. Just so I can make sure that I do stop indeed. This is Lynn by the Sea. This train terminates. We've got about a minute to wait. Change, please. Thank you for traveling. The door fully open. That's only like halfway open. Is that the same for every door? Okay, every door is only opening half the way. Are you seeing that? Is it honestly every single door of the train? It is. Why is every door only open half the way? Like you can see the handlebars inside the train or whatever they're called. I call them handlebars. You can see them inside the train. That is so strange. I'm going to apologize again if you do hear any, you know, like wind noise or anything like that. I've still got my fans on. 
I mean, right now, I think it's only like 20 degrees, but um, obviously the heat has been sort of trapped overnight. And I literally slept last night with no duvet on my bed. <laughs> I took it off, put it on the floor and just slept just with air, the train now with a pillow. Zero is the 0743. And I only got Except probably about five hours of sleep. Service to Newry Harbour. Calling at yes, it's West still not Island, too bad, but uh, Leighton City. Leighton, yeah. Stepford Road, Benton, Newry. It wasn't the ideal Newry sleeping Harbour. situation. This train is formed of five coaches. But as you can see, First class is I'm up quite early. I think I actually woke up at like half six. So yeah, not used to being up at this uh, time in the morning. I wouldn't normally, you know, if I got up in a, 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 a you know, in there, yeah, if I can even speak, if I got up in a normal morning, I would not even be awake. <laughs> my normal wake, I, you know, my, my normal wake up routine time would be when we get to Nuri Harbour <laughs> and even then you know if I was streaming early on the, in the morning I wouldn't start doing it until like 9 or 10 a.m. the only reason I am doing this is because a so I can get the video done this morning and then I can just leave my PC off for the rest of the day I may as well, what, you know, as we're traveling over there, I may as well tell you how the heat wave has been. Um, I mean, it hasn't been that bad considering the heat we were getting. It was, as I say, you know, about 40 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 106 Fahrenheit. Um, yeah. It wasn't really that bad considering that heat. Um, even though I don't think we actually got 40 degrees here, it still felt very hot. I think we we're only like a couple of degrees off and the hottest day in the UK on record has been broken. Um, I can't exactly remember the heat exact, but I think it was around 39.5 to 40. So, you know, incredibly hot. Um, I think it was probably a bit more than what they were predicting or a bit less than what they were predicting to be fair but um, yeah we were probably only about a degree off that at like 38 or something so yeah it has been very hot but in the UK we usually get like a very very dense heat that's like very like wet and just icky and mucky in the air um, which just makes you sweat like mad and doesn't make you feel like you're cooling down at all. Um, the heat just keeps on going and going and going. But Sunday and Monday weren't actually too bad. It was more of like the, it was more of like a dry heat. So sort of the heat that you would get if you went on holiday, for example, like if you went to Spain or Portugal or, or anywhere in the world, pretty much you get like a really dry heat and that was quite nice to get and it didn't really make them too bad i was able to cope in those heats but then tuesday phew, i mean again probably wasn't as bad as i was expecting it to be but i did really feel the heat last night um and that's what i mean you know i probably didn't get to sleep until like one in the morning or something um, because I just couldn't, I just couldn't get to sleep, um, because of the heat. Um, we were all downstairs until gone midnight. Um, and yeah, I think all days I didn't go, I didn't go to sleep until like 1am or I think at one point it was like half one. Um, I was actually half thinking about doing an overnight, um, yesterday going to today because it, it was just going to be that hot um thankfully i didn't make that stupid you know decision and uh 
actually go to bed because if you know if not i would have been shattered for today given if i had to do you know do the stream or not i would have been shattered and i actually wanted to you know get some sleep so i did it i got some sleep i still i, I feel tired i do feel tired I'll probably have to have a uh, have an afternoon nap, but um, apart from that, I'm not too bad. I'm actually not too bad. It's you know I've just been getting you know like I think it was like towards like the afternoon yesterday. I just got fed up of the heat, um, and. It was just getting into my head, right? Just a few more hours. Just do what you need to do. Get through it. Um, so I came upstairs and just watched, um, you know, movies and just went on my iPad for all three days, actually, really. Um, managed to actually spend some time playing some games with uh, Lauren, which was quite nice. Uh, we played a few board games, a few other games. My favourite one, which we didn't actually know how to play, which I actually got for my birthday, which was the London Underground game. And it's actually quite simple how, how that game worked. You get... It's, it's like a jigsaw, and your aim is to connect either different landmarks, ports, or... I think it's like major stations or something like that, or a line. And you start off with five pieces. And you take it in turns to take two kind of colours out of a bag at random. And then out of your five pieces, you have to put down a piece that represents one of the lines that's shown on the card. If that's, ma if that's making sense. So, it's effectively, I think, zone one and two of the London Underground. I don't think it's the four-scaled map, or if it is, it's very, very... Um, condensed but yeah it it's kind of difficult to explain if you know how to play it then you know if you know how to play it then I guess you could probably explain it in one of the comments in a basic description I'm not even going to go into it you know and try and explain because I know I'm just going to get it wrong um, if you want, search up a video on it, and it'll tell you how to how to play it. But it is actually quite simple. But yeah, that was quite nice to uh, to play. We played a few other games. Obviously, we didn't, you know, we played some Roblox as well. Um, you know, I just had to play it on my old laptop, which is an i3. Don't even think I even have a gra You know, it even has a graphics card. Um, so yeah, it wasn't, um, wasn't the best gaming experience in the world. But was manageable, you know, was manageable. And I think if it wasn't for that, the heat wave would have just been ten times worse. Only thing though is, is that obviously, as I said, you know, it wasn't able to play really any popular game on quite decent graphics at 30. I tried playing Minecraft. Yeah, I, I, right, are you hearing this? Right, Minecraft. It's supposed to be made for phones, right? I literally loaded up Minecraft Java because that's what I wanted to play. Um, and I don't even think I was getting 0.25 frames a second. I'm not exaggerating. I was literally running at a frame every four seconds. Um, so I tried, a few, uh, tried a few things. I switched all of the graphics to low. That's the first thing I ever do when something's lagging. That didn't make hardly any difference. Uh, I changed the resolution to the lowest. Didn't do anything. I even tried running Optifine. That didn't work. Oh, I thought that was like a 75 there. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I tried running Optifine as well. That didn't do anything. And, yeah, nothing worked when I tried to play Minecraft Java. I was still running at, like, you know, a frame every four seconds. It was not good. Um, so, 
really the only thing I could, you know, I could play was Roblox. And we actually played Club Penguin. <laughs> I'm not joking. We actually played some Club Penguin. Um, you know, while in the heat. We, uh, I think, I think we mainly played Kajitsu because, you know, that was just a childhood memory of ours. You know where you work up the, the belt ranks? We will shortly be arriving at Leighton City. Fun. Change here for trains to Leighton West. Yeah, other than that, Please I've just been surviving, space, as it were. As I said, you know, watch some movies, which is, you know, which is quite nice to, uh, to do. I don't normally have the chance to actually just relax and just watch some movies, so that's quite nice. I can't exactly remember, remember what I watched, but it was mainly just like movies that I haven't either seen for literally a, a long while or, you know, like really old TV shows. Don't judge me. I watched Hannah Montana. <laughs> Don't judge me. I don't even know what made me want to watch. You know Hannah Montana again. I have no idea why, but it has actually been quite nice just to revisit, you know, childhood movies and stuff. And honestly, some of the songs are just stuck in my head. But yeah, I've started to uh, watch that again. I'm probably not going to watch the entire series and stuff. <laughs> you know, don't, don't worry. But, uh, yeah. I, I've watched the entirety of the, this one season one. Uh, I rewatched all of that. And I think there's like four discs per season. And I only got like, um... No, stop. There we go. Um... I, uh, yeah, I think there's like four discs per season, um, consisting of eight episodes, and I've, uh, what I mean, in my room I've only got season one and three, because they were the seasons that had an episode in that I really wanted to watch, as that's what it started out as, I only wanted to watch, you know, a couple of episodes, and it just turned into me watching the entire series back. So yeah, um... Only wanted to do that, and now I've started watching it. But you know, yeah, it has been quite nice just to you know relive, uh, you know, watching that, and uh, it's made me even more sad that uh, there's a board game that we have that doesn't work that was themed around Hannah Montana. Rip. I can't exactly re I can't exactly remember the name, but it's it, it's like a mall shopping center. And you have to move your Hannah piece around the board going to different shops with that, you know, when there's sales and things like that. I can't exactly remember what it is called. I think it's like Mall Madness or something like that. But our centerpiece, the actual base, didn't really work that well. And, well, the speakers aren't working anymore. You know, we tried different batteries, didn't work. We tried everything and... Yeah, nothing really worked that well. Or, you know, didn't even make an improvement. But honestly, that, that was a game we loved playing in our childhood. Just sad that we can't play it, so we had to return to the retro era. Even though we didn't really play any retro games. As I said, it was only like, um, you know, things like the London Underground game and... Uh, buzz it if any of you have played that we had to change the rules on that one because it said you had to have four players who were only playing with two but apart from that it's not been too bad other than you know just a just a very hot night or two and there's optimistic thinking yeah you know Two layers, it's fine. Yeah, we're not climatized to this heat. <laughs> the UK expects, you know, are uh, always predicting rain and just cold. <laughs> we're not climatized to this heat.
So there has been a bit of, you know, a sweater every night or so. But yeah, it's not been too bad. It hasn't actually been too bad. Benson's quite a, way, quite a while away. I don't, I don't actually think I've ever known Benton to be this far away. Are we going to blast it through Morganstown or take a right here? No, we're going to blast it through Morganstown. Oh, are we still going 100 and... No, we don't have to 100, surely. Where's the 100? Does not stop here. Okay, I, I, I thought we had to drop down to 100. Oh, we're going to change going on to here, aren't we? Yeah, oh god, down to 30. Down to 30, down to 30, down to 30. Okay. A little bit speeding, a little bit. There we go. I knew there was a, you know, I knew there was a speed limit change. I didn't realize it was 125 through Morganstown. Is that the Whitney Green Depot? I think that's Whitney Green over there, isn't it? That's West East Barrowley. No, 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 no. Sorry, Bewley Park. That is, because uh, that's Morganstown. Why did I think that was East Barrowley? Oh, I just realised it's forty-five now. Port Benson. We're nearly there. Nearly there. Please stand by. I really hope Benson gets an upgrade. I actually do. I know there's other stations around the SCR network that could be in need of an upgrade. I don't know. I just feel like the platforms at Benson are a little bit, you know, weird. Here for Don't change, you know, the top. The top Green is fine. James and I guess that's probably where they wanted bridge. to make the major improvements. Please I mean, the platforms are still good, don't get me wrong, but... Platform. I just wish they could just update this, you know, these platforms just a slight, you know, just slightly. Because there's not really much colour going on, is there? But then again, you know, stations don't really have to be colourful. It just seems a little bit... I don't know, just... This train is formed of Basic? Pages. I don't know. I know it's quite hard to, you know, like, fully create one of these stations and stuff. This is Benton. So I can forgive them. But I don't know, I, I just feel the, the station just seems a little bit... ...bare, you know? But at least the, uh... At least the airport zone is getting an upgrade. What even is the temperature now? It is still 20 degrees actually, so... Still not too bad, but obviously the heat from yesterday is uh, starting, to make a, starting to make an appearance. I can feel it a little bit. Not to the point where I'm sweating, you know, it's just, you know, lifting my, uh, my body temperature up a little bit. So hopefully, as soon as I've done with this route, I can uh, go ahead, pop it into Premiere, quickly render it, and then upload it, get a thumbnail done, and uh, away I go. Speaking of which, we probably should get a thumbnail right now. Oh, if I can even remember the correct thing. Cha-ching. There we go. Most likely the thumbnail. <laughs> Quick one I'll, I'll uh, ever get.
So hopefully I can go ahead and create that thumbnail while the video is editing or while the video is rendering. Yeah, I do apologize for there not being many edits on previous videos. It's uh It's just because I just wanted to get the video into Premiere, get the intro and outro and things done. And then get it rendering. Just getting these videos out, you know, in the least possible time. And I have actually enjoyed, you know, creating these videos. And it's kind of made me think to, you know, maybe go daily SCR again, you know, with like videos. But the thing is that if I did that, what would I do? Because obviously I could do journeys, but it'll just get a bit repetitive, you know. And I kind of, you know, like these kind of like chilled, sit down, sort of like talking driving videos but I just I just feel like it's gonna get a bit repetitive maybe shorter videos could be the way to go but again what would I do for those I know most of you are probably spamming in the comments right now dispatching and I, yeah I would like to do that but obviously I need I want to try and do it at a time where it most suits you guys because I, you know, I could do it for sure, but, you know, I give you guys, you know, the chance to join me in game on the, uh, on the Discord to get dispatched. And I would like to do it on my own and, you know, just get it recorded when I can. But then we might not get many uh, trains to uh, to dispatch. That's that, that that's the issue. But hopefully soon I will uh, I'll, I'll be able to uh, get a dispatching video made for you guys. And when I say on Discord, I, I do it on the uh, community post as well. So yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I will get them done. Please stand by from the platform edge. Just taking a bit of a a bit of a while at the moment. I mean another thing could just be just to record it whenever I can, just send it out on Discord and just see who joins. I could do that, yeah, but I don't want to try and make it so you guys can actually get in. Because if I did do it at like, you know, I don't know, like, you know, 10 a.m. Tuesday morning, let's just say, um, school morning, obviously then you guys won't be able to join, but people who live in different time zones and stuff will. And with most of my fan base being UK, I kind of want to make it so people from the UK can join. I don't know that there's going to be fans in different countries and time zones thinking, Fetch, don't do that! Do it at 6am or whatnot, but... Honestly, yes, I want to try and accommodate everyone, but that's the thing, I can't. Newry. This train is for Newry Harbour. The next station... And plus I won't even be up at 6am. Unless it's like a day-to-day. These stations are a little bit interesting with the time zones. I must admit. I think they could probably knock off about three minutes on this route. It has actually taken a bit longer than I expected, to be fair. So we're going to be sat here for about a minute, just doing absolutely nothing. I mean, then again, you know, two minutes to get from Nuri to Nuri Harbour, like, you know. Nuri Harbour's only over, you know, over there. I can literally see it. I can see the, you know, the, the cruise ship and everything. How is that going to take us two minutes? 
That will probably take us at least probably a minute. Unless you're travelling at like five, you know, five miles an hour, and that's, you know, then it will probably take you about an hour. It's probably quicker to just walk from here to there, in fact. Right, off we go. I mean, it is 30, but still. Welcome on board this Stepford Express service to... It's not going to take Newry us that long, Harbour. is it? The next station will be Newry Harbour. I love this rock work. I must admit, I really like this rock work. It really gives you the sense of a beach. It would be nice, you know, have some, like, basic access we to the beach, maybe? Be like there. Down to the beach, maybe if you, this you know, pre uh, ready-made sandcastles. Give you the proper the beach here. feel. I don't know. I'm just trying to look at it, you know, aesthetically. Great! Visit Bowdoin at Nuri Harbour. Yeah, it makes, per makes perfect sense, that. But again, I really like that boat as well. I just don't know why it says visit Bowdoin on the, you know, on the side. I fairly seemed to Nuri Harbour. Express doesn't even stop at Bowdoin, I don't think. At least not on this branch. So I don't even know why it says visit Bowdoin on the um on the side. All change, please. Thank you for travelling with us today. Bowdoin's near, you know, Stepford Way. But here we are anyway at our destination. There's all of the points and XP if you wanted to know. We gained 7 XP and 40 points. Time taken 26 minutes. So yeah, it has been a little bit of a a little bit of a journey, but we were on time, which is good. But that is going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like on the stream on the video if you did enjoy it. And at least said stream. So yeah, make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.